class 12th economics deals with microeconomics and macroeconomics. And as this is the introduction to the entire book, let us try and understand in detail what is microeconomics and what is macroeconomics. As far as the two are concerned, in microeconomics we deal with the situation of individuals. That is the tool which we have or rather the unit that we have is the individual. Whereas in macroeconomics we deal with the economy of the country. This is with, to do with the entire economy. This has to do with an individual. So that is micro means small, macro means big economy. As far as the tools are concerned of studying micro and macro economics, they are in micro we study the demand and supply factor. Whereas in macroeconomics, we study the aggregate demand and also the aggregate of an economy. Then comes the problems of both micro and macroeconomics. In microeconomics, the price resources remain the biggest problem, but in macroeconomics, the national income and employment is very important and those are the basic problems that we have. See the individual will be concerned about the price whereas an economy would be dealing with the generation of more national income, the distribution of national income in equitable manner and the generation of employment. When we talk of microeconomics and macroeconomics as far as the subject matter, then the individual commodity prices, generally what it is said, the rates of, when I talk from an individual point of view, I say the rate of, uh, say, the vegetables have really gone up. But when I talk from the macroeconomics, the general price level, which we'll be talking in detail in the macroeconomics chapters will be discussed and studied. So now you know all that you are going to study in detail in class 12th as this was an introduction and remember we are going to study in detail both about micro and macro that is individual and the economy as such and what affects them, how do they get affected, how do they make use of their resources and what are the other factors hitting them. And that was all about the introduction, your first chapter of class 12th economics. Thank you.